Okay, question 1D, we have 27 to the power of 4 thirds. Now we can change this uh, number with a rational, with a fraction exponent to a root, okay, with a power. And so we can write it in this way. Well, there's a couple of ways you can write it, but I mean, the general rule, the general rule is if you have a, ra a rational exponent like a to the power of m over n, that can be written as the nth root of a to the power of m, or if, if you like, the nth root of a, and then all to the power of m, whichever one of these you prefer, okay? So there's two ways of doing it, okay? Going from a rational exponent to a root. So this is the rule. Now, so 27 to the power of 4 thirds, I kind of like this way because I want to get the the nth, the root, and then I'll put it to the power afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to write this as the now instead of n, I'll, I'll just put this here so you can see it. But instead of n, you see, I'm going to have three, so it's going to be the third root. Oh, okay, the third root of what? See, this is a, a three here, right? Third root of 27, right? And then I'm going to put parentheses around it and put it to all to the power of what? All to the power of 4, right? So, and that helps me to calculate it. So what's the third root of 27 anyway? See, I can calculate that part, So and then put it to the power of 4. So what is the third root of 27? What number times itself 3 times gives 27? We're asking what number times itself 3 times gives 27? So we're saying some number times itself three times gives 27. Or we're breaking 27 down. What's 27 if you factorize it, what do you get? You get nine times three, and if you break nine down, you get three times, three times three, right? So three times itself three times gives 27. So the third root of 27 is the number three, right? Now what's three to the power of four? <coughs> 3 to the power of 4. 3 times 3 is 9, as we can see, and times 3 is 27, and then 27 times 3 is what? 3 7 is 21, carry the 2, 3 2 is 6, and 2 is 8. So 81, right? So 81 is the answer.